here it is you see welcome to Stuti's cuisine this is Sophie with another recipe and another day hope you all are fine by God's grace thank you for all the subscribers who have been subscribing comments and the likes you have given me please continue doing it and keep sharing and cooking the various recipes Today I'm come with a recipe. It's, it is quite different from what we always have. All of us could be familiar with the item which I'm saying and that's cassava or tapioca or in South India in Kerala it's known as kappa. So it's the dried form of tapioca which is usually steamed, sliced and dried in the sun and it's made use of it either to make curry or it's also deep fried and relished as a snack with a sprinkle of salt. So what I've done here is something different and it's the same thing which I've deep fried and I've powdered it. After powdering it, I've made ladoos and we'll see step by step how we go about doing it. So, let's go to the kitchen. The ingredients for tapioca ladu or you can call it tapioca snack. It's also called cassava or also called kappa in Malayalam. What I have done for this recipe is that I've deep fried it and then I've powdered it fine. And here it is what I have done. It's powdered fine. And I have got 400 grams of powdered tapioca, 400 grams of jaggery, 100 grams of desiccated coconut. For flavoring, I have around six cardamoms and nutmeg. So I'm going to scrape some of the nutmeg in it I have a story to tell you about the nutmeg. My nutmeg was over and I was just thinking, oh my God, how will I get the nutmeg? And I had to buy the nutmeg from the store, which I'm not very happy with it because I wanted the nutmeg like this. Uh, I used to get it from back home, from Kerala. So like an angel, I had one of my colleagues give it to me and I'm so thankful to her. She gave me a few of these nutmeg and I'm so thankful to her. Thank you, Lima, for it. So let's start beginning. I've already powdered the tapioca, which is deep fried. Uh, I'm going to melt the jaggery in half cup of water. I'm going to dry roast the desiccated coconut, okay? And I'll be back. So here I'm going to dry roast the desiccated coconut low fire and I have my jaggery being melted here okay so let it get completely melted and we'll have my desiccated coconut also roasted uh, and I'll be back okay so here it's roasted well enough I've taken it out from the fire Okay, and now let it get cool. So here I'm putting one tablespoon of butter. You don't have to make it one string consistency or anything. You just have to make it a little bit thick and it should be of a, a sticky consistency. It's not yet. So we'll just wait. 
and uh, we need to put two teaspoons of lemon juice too okay i'll put it on medium hi and i'll be back so here i'm putting two teaspoons of lemon juice okay and give it a stir it's almost done so i've switched off the jaggery and i've let it to cool okay in the meantime this is my coconut i'm just crushing it a little bit uh, if you want you can just give it a twist in the grinder or you can just have it as it is okay i'm just crushing it a little bit and we're going to put it in the tapioca mix tapioca powder which we've just powdered right give it a mix wow it's enough of uh, coconut to it this is my nutmeg which i'm going to grate a little bit in it and this is my cardamom which i have powdered so i'm going to mix it mix it all together oh god what smell eh you can even put the cardamom and the whatever flavor you want you can put cinnamon if you want but i usually prefer to put the cardamom and a little bit of the nutmeg nutmeg is my favorite it's such a nice it has got such a nice flavor oh my god right and you can also just keep it dry this way and just have it for breakfast along with a banana mixed like we have it for uh, we have another dish in south india in kerala where they make out of rice powder they dry roast it along with uh, coconut and keep it uh, aside and have it for breakfast with uh, banana mashed or also they make the same as this they make uh, ladoos and they keep it so it's similar to that which i'm making but i've never had tapioca ladoos from anywhere so i just thought oh yes let me make this and i thought of it i thought let me see how it comes out to be so i have my jaggery here okay i'm going to just pour it it's going to be hot you cannot hold it with your hands you can also put ginger powder the dry ginger powder okay uh, you get it in the market to buy and that too also gives a lovely flavor for all these uh, recipes i don't want to put my hand because the jaggery is very hot you can get the smell of uh, the cardamom and the nutmeg <laughs> it's so nice we squeeze the lime in it so that when we make the ladoos it won't get hard it will be soft i'm just waiting for it to cool a little bit so that i can uh, put my hand in it and make ladoos okay Okay, so I'll just wait for it to cool a little bit and then I'm going to make ladoos out of it. So I have put all the jaggery in it, the flavoring agents like the cardamom and the nutmeg powdered and now I'm going to make ladoo. Okay, so I just have to make it round. 
whichever size you want. If you want, you can put some nuts in it. I'm not putting any nuts. Already put co coconut. Okay, and this is it. You just have to make it. And here. Okay. Okay, I'll complete all this and get back to you. Here it is. See how good it looks. I just um, t uh, kept a little bits of pistachios on the top and it looks so nice. It's very tasty too, you know. So please do try it and let me know how it's come out to me. Okay, thank you.